In this video, we're gonna make our all-in-one home automation project using Firebase real-time database. Using which we'll be able to control up to 4EC appliances and also able to control the speed of the fan using our own custom-made Android application. Also with the help of the manual switches and manual fan regulator and that will work without internet as well. So this is the one topic which I got a lot of demand of and as I got the lot of demand of, I do want a lot of likes on this video. So do click the like button and now let's start with this video. So to make this project, you'll need these all components whose list and links you can find in the article whose link you can find in the description of this video. In the same article, I also mentioned the connection diagram of all this component and trust me, they have a lot of connection to be made in this project and that's why we designed our own custom made PCB and in the end, we gave its order to JLC PCB. Well, you can try out a JLC PCB for your PCB related order by just uploading the Gerber file of the PCB project Select the color masking if you want it and just place your order. Now here they have multiple shipping options and if you select the fastest delivery option, you may get the PCB delivered at your doorstep within a week. So try ordering your own custom design PCBs from the LC PCB to make your projects look neat and compact. So after getting the PCBs and shouldering all the components on it, our PCB project looks something like this. And well, we are also selling this complete shouldered project. Just stick around this video as I'll be discussing about how to purchase this project at the end of the video. So yeah, that was all about the hardware part of the project. Now let's just move on to the computer and have a look over the coding part. So here's the code for our all-in-one home automation project using Firebase. So let's just start understanding this code line by line. So first of all, uh, here I have put one debug switch, which is set to one. So whenever it is set to one, you'll get to see all the debug messages in the serial monitor. And when you set it to zero, you won't be able to see anything inside the serial monitor. So let's just keep it to one for debug purpose. After that, here to include these all libraries, uh, out of which you just need to install this Firebase ESP32.h header file. You can get it from the GitHub repository. I will leave the link of this uh, in the description of this video. You just need to download the zip file of it. And after doing that, just need to go to sketch into include library into add zip libraries. Here, just go to your download folder, select the library file and click on the choose button, which will automatically install that library onto your Arduino ID. After doing that, you need to install one more library, which is Arduino JSON.h for that. Go to sketch into include libraries into manage libraries. You just search for Arduino JSON and install this library. Now make sure you have installed this specific version only because yeah, I've tested this project in this version. So yeah, do that. After doing that, you're good to go with the libraries part. And uh, now let's move ahead with the Firebase credentials. So as you all know, we are using the Firebase real-time database here. So we need to provide their credentials here to you know link this project with our account. For that, what we'll do, we'll go to our web browser and open up a new tab here and we'll search for Firebase. Click on the first link, which will take you to the Firebase website. After doing that, just click on go to console. And here, click on add project. I'll name this project as all in one. That's good for me. Click on continue. After then click on continue again. Select an account. I'll select my TechSMS account only. Click on create project. I will take some time to create the project. So let me just fast forward this video. Okay, so our new project is ready. Just click on continue. So here is our all in one automation project onto the Firebase database. Now you just need to go to real time database and here click on create database. Click on next, click on enable and we are done. Now we just need to copy this URL, which is one of our credentials. So I'll copy this and go to my Arduino account. And here I'll paste that URL into Firebase host. Now make sure you remove this backslash and also this HTTPS kind of thing. You just need to keep it as simple as this one. After doing that, you have to provide one more uh, credential, which is the Firebase authentication token, which you can get it by going into the setting icon, into project settings, into service accounts, into database secrets. And here is that secret authentication token. Just click here to copy and paste that token here. So that was all you need to do for the Firebase a uh, part of the project. Now let's move ahead. You need to provide the Wi-Fi credentials because hey, come on, this project do require internet connection for talking to the Firebase database. After that, the necessary function declaration and necessary what we can say pin declaration. Now the pin declaration, uh, you don't need to change until unless you are using the same connection diagram, which is shown in the article. If you're using uh, different pins, make sure you change that numbers here. 
after doing that uh, again some of the variables are declared and input output is declared there's nothing much here let me just directly take you to the loop part of the project and uh, let me show you the logic i have used so in the loop part first i'm comparing is my wi-fi status connected to internet or not if it is not connected to internet just uh, call this function call is without internet it will run all the function that will work without internet and in case if it's connected to the internet uh, do run the functions called as data from firebase and with internet okay so uh, in without internet function what we are doing is let me just go to that particular section okay so here's the without internet part here we are just reading the status of the switches and the fan regulator and we are blindly sending the data to the relay pins for example if the switch one is on we will be turning on the relay one if it is off we'll turning it off that's a simple thing we are doing in without internet mode and while uh, when our esp board is connected to internet we are calling two different function first a data from firebase which is responsible for all the data coming from the firebase database okay for example, if we are getting any data from this particular path, and if that data is zero, we just need to call the speed zero function, we will turn the fan speed to zero, okay? So basically we are reading the data from the particular path and we are doing the actions according to the data receiver. Is it on, is it off? Uh, we are just reading the data and responding to that data. And after that, we have one more function called as with internet. Now let's me, let me just go to that function as well. So inside with internet, what we are doing is, we are following all the steps that we have followed in the without internet mode. That means if the switch one is turned on, turn on the appliance one. Along with that, we are also sending its real time feedback to the uh, Firebase database just to make everything in synchronization with each, with each other. Okay. So when we are, you know, changing the fan speed by the manual regulator, we are also sending the data to the real time database. Okay. Just to make it in sync. Okay. So that we are doing in the with internet function. Okay. So these all are the logic embedded inside this particular code. And uh, when you just go through this code line by line, like when you go through all the functions, you'll come to know each and everything because it is like in, uh, written in a very simple and in a, in a very simple manner i made a very simple logic okay so yeah, that was all about the code and the firebase account now one thing if you notice inside the firebase is uh, inside the real-time database we haven't created any of the path or any of the variable any of the value nothing we have created nothing now why is it so it's just because whenever we upload this code onto our esp32 board all the paths that are defined here just like appliances slash appliances one two three they all will automatically be declared inside our real-time database so we need not to create it manually it will automatically done by the esp32 and the database so we need not to do anything uh, inside the database okay so that was all about the coding part of the project now we are just left with uh, making our own android application inside the mit app inventor let me just go through that part as well so here we have used the mit app inventor to make the application for our project now here it has helped me a lot while making this project so here are all the blocks for this project and here is the front part of it. Now don't worry, we'll be providing the .ai file of this application uh, in case you want to use it on your side as well. But you need to change one thing here, which is the Firebase credentials. For that, just click on this Firebase database and here are the two credentials that you need to change as per your account. Now that's it. After doing the changes, you can easily convert this file into the .apk file and install it on your mobile phone. So that was all about the mobile application part as well. Now I'll simply insert the ESP32 board inside the PCB project. Now you can get the connection diagram of this PCB board with the appliances in the same article. So use that image for the reference purpose. That's it. Now just turn on the switch and let's see this project in action. So first, let's try controlling the appliances with the help of the mobile application. As you can see, I'm easily able to control the tube light and also able to control the speed of the fan using the slider. Perfect. Now let's try with the manual switches and manual fan regulator. Okay, so we are able to control it with the manual switches as well. Now let's just try to turn off the internet and let's see if it works without internet or not. Okay, so it is working without internet as well as expected. Now, if you look at the Firebase real-time database section, then as you can see, all the variables are automatically declared and its values are being updated whenever we send the data from the mobile application or from the switchboard. So yeah, we are getting the real-time data into the database as well. 
So yeah, that was all about the all-in-one home automation project made using Firebase this time. And this was the most demanded topic from your side. And let me tell you, we are also selling this all-in-one home automation project, like the complete shouldered project just for you guys. So you just need to go to techiesmas.com website. And on that website, you'll get an option called as projects for sale. And here you will find all the projects that are on sale by TechSMS. And here is the all-in-one home automation project. Just select this project, fill up the basic shipping details and just pay for the order. You'll get that project completely shouldered at your doorstep. So yeah, that was it about this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got to learn something new from it. And if it is so, you already know it. Do like the video and also let me know in the comments like what more projects you want us to make and we'll try our best to make this project just for you guys. And that being said, I'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video to explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.